Hello everyone. I am currently the number one ranked It's a Wonderful World player on Board Game Arena. Today we're going to look at my opening draft from five different games. Games can often be decided in the first round draft, so it's very important you get off to a good start. This is my opening hand in the first game we're going to look at. Immediately I can see one of the cards that I'm always looking out for, which is Recycling Plant. The versatility of the white production is very important. It's very good for either a blue build or a yellow build. And as we can see from the opening hand, both blue and yellow look pretty viable at the moment. There's some nice blue cards. There's a, a black card that produces blue. There's also some yellow multipliers, yellow production, financing multipliers. So it's very hard to pick a direction, so recycling plants is very safe. The other thing I'm noticing is there are no other white discards, so it might be tricky to build this in the first round, but we'll see. So we have the recycling plant, and we should note that our opponent picked Giant Dam, which is a very strong card. This is one of the other cards to look out for. One thing to note about Giant Dam is to build it you need at least one white discard and two yellow discards, so I want to try to prevent that if I can. Going back to this hand, I can see there is only one white discard available, which means if I take that then my opponent can't build Giant Dam, so that's 100% what I'm going to do. The other thing I'm looking at from this hand is I'm probably leaning more towards yellow now. Uh, firstly, because I don't want to compete against my opponent who already has Giant Dam. It's going to be very difficult if we're doing the same thing, but he's just doing it better. Uh, but also, Industrial Complex is good, World Congress is good. I'm going to get at least one of these back. So we just picked the White Discard. Our opponent picked Airborne Lab, which I agree with. Good pick. I don't need both Financial Centers. I will definitely get one of them back, because my opponent can't pick two cards from the same hand, so I'm guaranteed to get one of these back, which means right now I'm just looking for scoring cards. Secret Society is a very good scoring card, Financier Multipliers. In two-player games in particular, I look out for Financier Multipliers a lot, as well as General Multipliers if I'm going for blue. So take Secret Society. Uh, the opponent took Wind Turbines, which is also a fine pick. They must realise now they can't build Giant Dam in the first round, so getting some black production is, is good. Here, picking Industrial Complex is a very easy decision for me. It's very important to get your production going early. I won't be able to build a recycling plant before round 1 production, but what I can do is discard military base, put it on industrial complex, and get this built while keeping a recycling plant for the next round unbuilt. Industrial complex is probably the best yellow producing white card there is. The opponent just took a yellow discard to prepare for building giant dam next round. I'm going to take financial center because it is a yellow discard to stop my opponent, but also because it's going to be useful for later. Uh, here taking World Congress is easy, very good scoring card. My production's already set up for round one, so I can just afford to get scoring cards. And final pick here is Gravity Inverter, another scoring card. So the positives about this hand, it's not a perfect start, but it's pretty good. So right now we have five times yellow cards. I expect I won't have any trouble building these. One times financier multipliers. I have a recycling plant for next round, and I have two good yellow production cards. So it's important here not to get baited into building recycling plants straight away. It's very important to get this early yellow production for two reasons. Well, firstly, industrial complex produces one white itself, so it's nearly as good as a recycling plant. But also, more importantly, producing one yellow this round will get me an extra financier. Now, one financier is only worth two points at the moment, but with potentially more financier multipliers coming, they'll be worth a lot more later. Now, my opponent has a very sad start because we stopped them building Giant Dam, so they are stuck. They can build wind turbines, they won't have enough black to build this, which means they won't produce their green or blue. 
So essentially taking this white discard has cost them two generals because they won't get a general from the green bonus and they won't get a general from the blue bonus as well as slow down their production. So we can fast forward to the end of the game because we're only looking at the first rounds. So we finished the game on 96, that included 15 financiers. Uh, you can see these scoring cards were very important to take early. One, two, three we took early because for the whole game we only saw two more. Uh, so we ended up having four times financiers, so that's 60 of our points from that. Uh, and mainly just white and yellow buildings, which is a typical white-yellow build with some green. We can see the opponent still had a reasonably strong game, although their start was very slow. It really limited the amount of uh, blue buildings they could finish. And probably a bit fortunate for us, there was only one general multiplier as they did end up with 17 generals. On to the next game. So in this opening hand, there's not really any card I'm particularly excited about. I don't like committing to a colour until I've seen both hands, our hand and the opponent's hand. So if you're ever in doubt, just pick a card that discards into white. It will be useful for either build. So we take a white discard. Our opponent starts with Fountain of Youth, not a fan at all of this. Black discards often aren't very useful, and if his plan is committing to, to uh, blue straight away, it's not very strong because there's very little black production here. Uh, but they do leave us with Recycling Plant, which I'm very happy about. We saw in the previous hand there were plenty of white discards, so we will be able to build this. So we go ahead and take it. The opponent just now starts taking some white discards, but it's too late. So we already have one of the white discards. We don't need to take another yet, so we can go ahead and take some scoring cards. I'm leaning towards the yellow build at this stage because there was very little black production. The opponent takes Underground City, which is which is a good card. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to build it this round though. So here it's very important to get production going. Uh, Offshore Oil Rig is the only card from this hand and the other hand that's going to produce any yellow. So very important to secure this. Secret Society is the other consideration. But uh, it's more important to get your production going early. Focus on scoring cards later. Offshore Oil Rig is also very good because we have a Casino City. We need black and yellow for this. Opponent takes some black production, that's fine. So here is the good thing about this hand. We need one blue discard for oil rig and one more white discard for recycling plant. We're going to see this hand two, uh, twice more. So we, we're going to take one white and one blue, the order doesn't particularly matter. From this hand we do get secret society back. If our opponent had have taken it, human cloning is also a fine option. But we do get Secret Society, very important to get these financing multipliers. And we just get the blue here. So from this hand, we built Recycling Plant before Round 1 production, meaning we produce 4 white. We can easily build the Offshore Oil Rig. That's going to do two things. Firstly, it's going to tie our opponent in black production, so they don't get a general for that. Secondly, it's going to produce the yellow, which gets us another financier, and we'll be well started into building our Casino City for more production. And if we fast forward this game to the end, we finished on 99 points, that includes 15 financiers. Uh, we ended up getting 5 times financiers. We had our original Casino City and Secret Society, and then we picked up 2 more along the way. And as you can see again, mostly just white, yellow, green. Very simple. I think a trap a lot of people fall into is feeling like they need to produce all the resources, but that's not the case. Uh, if you're going for this build, you don't need to produce blue. Our opponent had a decent game as well. They finished with 18 generals and 75 points. They did have three times generals. But as you can see, they had a relatively slow start. It does really limit what you can build when you have a slow start. Okay, on to the third game. 
So immediately in this hand, my eyes are drawn to Giant Dam. I would say probably the strongest card in the game, or the equal strongest card in the game. So there's no doubt in my mind I'm picking this. This is enough of a reason to commit to a black-blue build. But on top of that, this hand is basically perfect for it. There's a very good blue scoring card. There's good blue production cards here. So the things I'm noting are there's no white discards, so that'll be very important to get. Uh, but there are four yellow discards, so I will be getting at least two of those back. So as long as I get one white discard, Giant Dam will get built. The opponent took Nuclear Plant, which is just a sadder version of Giant Dam. I don't need to take a white discard here, I will get one of these back. The good thing about that is I will also be denying my opponent from building Nuclear Plant because they need two white discards and I'll be taking one of these. Top priority from this hand is Atlantis for two reasons. One, it's a yellow discard, not that I would need that, but I will be able to keep this and it is the highest scoring card in the game. We'll see at the end of the game how many generals I end up with and how many points this is worth, but it's very important to secure that. My opponent has taken one of the yellow discards, so I need to keep pace and grab another one. I'll grab the one with the best potential scoring. Uh, here I'm still not pressured to take a white card, a white discard, because I will get one back. So I think Airborne Laboratory is probably the best pick here. This is a place for my black production to go, and it's going to it's going to give me a good start producing a green and a blue, which will give me two generals, hopefully, this round. Here I'm going to grab one yellow discard in the hope that I can get both of these, because I would ideally like to keep two of these cards, so grabbing that so I can keep more of these. Uh, here I just need to take the white discard to finish Giant Dam. This will be the last time I see this hand. Not getting Super Stone, I was a bit sad, but my production should be fine. And here they took the other yellow discard. If we count our production, I will be producing five black in the first round. So three of them are going here. That leaves two left. Zeppelin just seems like an easy pick. And this is a pretty dream start. You're obviously not going to get this start very often, but it's important to know how to capitalize on it when you do get it. So here we can see we're going to finish Giant Dam, finish these two black buildings, as well as get three generals this round and start putting cubes on Atlantis. Our opponent's off to a very bad start. They've decided to transition into like a yellow-green build, but getting nothing built in the first round is very sad. It's very hard to come back from this. So if we fast forward to the end of the game, bit of a bug on the replay there, but we finished with 119 points, 17 generals, so this Atlantis card is worth 34 for the generals, and then two more because it's a blue building, so that's a 36-point card right there. And our opponent did get some nice production, but just not enough scoring. They did finish with 12 financiers. Uh, important to note, Giant Dam is a unique card, so you won't see it very often, but you can have a very similar start with Nuclear Plant. Uh, it also requires three cubes discarded to build, so it's quite similar. It just produces one, one black cube less, but still at equally as viable. On to the fourth game, once again, no real card I'm looking at here, so if in doubt, just take a white discard. There's no point committing to a colour yet when you have no idea what the other hand looks like. Our opponent starts with Financial Centre, and that's a huge mistake because they have left Magnetic Train open. This is probably equal strength with Giant Dam. It just offers so much production in the late game, as well as giving two financiers, it's a bit ridiculous. So this is an absolute no-brainer to pick. Our opponent's taken a white discard, that's fine. So here we already have one, one white discard. Industrial Complex, very good to build first round, as, I've, as I said in the first game. Important to secure that production early. 
Here I can see my opponent needs two white discards for financial center. Um, letting them build this in the first round would mean they get they outproduce me in yellow, so I don't want to do that. So I take the last available white discard, which means they cannot build this now in the first round. Uh, here there's not much left. Giant Tower is a pretty good card. It's not it's not my favorite yellow card. It's all right. The financier cost can often be quite expensive. Because if you're imagining late game when financiers are worth 5 points each or something, this is only like a 5 point card. But however it's still easy to build, it's also a yellow discard if I need, so it's an easy pick. Uh, here not interested in any of these, so we just take another yellow discard. The sooner we can build magnetic train the better. And here I'm sure a lot of people would be tempted to get this. I'm not really a fan though. I think going, when you have a start like Magnetic Train and you're just focusing on financiers, I think this can be a bit of a distraction. Like, I don't want to be going out of my way to produce blue. If I get something like an Underwater City, fine, but I don't have it right now, so it, it's going to be awkward to build. There are two reasons I pick Wind Turbines here. I've got two white discards, but I only need one for Industrial Complex. Putting one on Giant Tower is not needed until like the last round, it doesn't produce anything, so I'm not too ex not too worried about building it. But Wind Turbines is a good place for that white to go. Plus with Magnetic Train, it scales off the amount of white buildings I have, and Wind Turbines is a very cheap white building. see we build industrial complex we keep giant tower to get magnetic train built before second round production we only need to discard one more yellow next round we'll produce the black and the green before yellow production next round we can see our opponent uh, is very sad not finishing financial center just imagine if they had finished this it lets them snowball quite heavily because now all of a sudden they get an extra financier from outproducing us in yellow, they finish university, which means they get more financiers for outproducing us in green. And if we fast forward to the end of the game... So even though we were going similar builds, the magnetic train just allowed us to snowball out of control. We finished with 17 financiers to 4. We ended up with 5 times financiers, so that's 85 of our points from financiers which means indeed that Giant Tower is only a 5 point card. But once again, just nearly all white, yellow, one green building. No blue required again. Our opponent was sort of going for a bit of everything. They had some yellow, some green, they had a blue card, they had a second blue card. This black building just feels very out of place. They don't produce any additional black, so it must have been very expensive to build that for, for little benefit. And on to the last game. So once again, same thing. No card I'm looking out for. There's no recycling plant, no giant dam, no magnetic train, so we just take a white discard. It's safe. Our opponent starts with an offshore oil rig. Again, I'm, I'm not a fan of this choice. The black discard's not useful. And there are some much more impactful cards here. So one build that I've been looking out for a bit more lately is transmutation builds. I know in my strategy guide I said it was quite awkward to build, but this is this is a way to build it very easily, which I, I'm looking out for now when I see transmutation. One thing to note from the, our previous hand was there was a research center. It combos really well with transmutation. Let's see how it looks. We get transmutation. We secure this research center, that's the three greens re required because we already produced one. And from here to build transmutation, all we need is two more yellow cubes. So we take that with the hope of keeping this, but if we need to discard it, we will. Just take all the yellow cubes. Yellow. And yellow. The other consideration was Lunar Base, but I prefer to keep two Harbor Zones. If you think about, once again, how much financiers are worth, Harbor Zone and Lunar Base are probably very equal in points, but this is so much easier to build and it gives awesome production. So taking these two yellow discards allows us to keep two Harbor Zones. 
the first round, we can build research center, build transmutation, and nearly complete our harbor zone. All we need is one yellow discard in the next round because we do have a crystallium here, which I don't mind using early at all. Our opponent's build is sort of all over the place. They will finish an oil rig, which is fine, and they will finish a zeppelin, but just a bit of everything, a bit of yellow, blue, it's, it doesn't usually end out too well from my experience. So let's fast forward to the end of this game. So here we can see with the harbor zone starts getting both built before round two and a magnetic train on top of that later. We finish with 20 financiers, uh, four times 20, so 80 points of our 122 from financiers. We also ended up with three times yellow buildings, nearly four, nearly five times yellow buildings and our opponent was doing a bit too much of everything. They didn't fully commit in one direction and their scoring suffered because of it. So there are five pretty different openings you can look for in your games. The common theme in all of them is white discard. It's very important. You need at least one white discard to build things like research center or military base or offshore oil rig or industrial complex. I also have a lot of people asking me if I think a yellow build or a blue build is stronger. And you may be thinking from this video, well, four out of the five games were yellow builds. But I think they're of equal strength. With yellow builds, there's probably a few more different ways to get there. That's why I didn't show as many blue games, because nearly all of them revolve around taking nuclear plant or giant dam and getting early black production. But I think they're both equal strength. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. I'll answer everything. And thanks for watching.